Have you ever met a boy so entangled in his brain, possessed by his own success, disturbed by his own mind? Have you ever met a boy suffering at the hands of the imagination, running from all of his greatest creations? This is a boy suffering deep down inside, putting pain beneath the layers of pigment and webs of graphite lines. A boy trapped behind thick walls of paint, clawing at canvas nailed into walls stuck between art and white space. Because this is a boy with a beautiful mind, unable to escape the chaos inside. And here this boy stands at a crossroads between dreamless success and his greatest suffering. So he packed his bag thinking he might just board his flight, against all odds by the end of the night, for an opportunity awaits him far, far away to showcase his work day after day. As the time approaches and he's ready to go, the boy boards the train on his journey to the crossroads, for one path gives him a life worth craving, because all of his work has critics praising. The other saves a soul from breaking, stops the glorification of his art and suffering. Isn't it awful to see a boy's agony, to watch what a painful world it is for this suffering soul, whose head is filled with the sounds of rotting corpses and swarms of angry bees, symphonies of cows roaring simultaneously to the sounds of chopped meat, heartbeats moving too slow and static noise screeching from turned off screens, screams surfacing from endless black holes, and subtle splashing in wells too deep to see. Lucky for all, for boy and for brothers, he paints blank canvases with these sounds we've discovered. This boy that you see fills up white spaces by pouring in millions of his darkest creations. It's tragic, you see, to watch this soul suffer, to please thousands and thousands of faceless others. And finally, boy stands with no time remaining, deciding if it's time, time worth escaping. Boy stops for a minute to watch people fly by, seeing sleepless nights rest deep in their eyes. Why would he let people take hold of him like this, draining pain from the cuts on the surface of his skin? This chaos we feel deep down inside chooses to let suffering reside. Those who paint canvases rotting with pain, are we glorifying your suffering deeply in vain?